Hulu Live or YouTube TV? Which one should you really choose? Some people may be giving Hulu Live a second look after recent news about Roku and YouTube TV, plus new channels just added as of this recording to Hulu Live. Hey, it's Michael. Welcome to the channel, and YouTube TV is my number one pick for first-time streamers, but I have tested Hulu Live extensively over the years, and I've got a lot to say about the differences between the two and why you may want to try Hulu Live over YouTube TV. So let's get started. The seven things you need to know before you sign up for YouTube TV or Hulu Live. Number one, pricing. Hulu Live and YouTube TV have one thing in common, and that is the starting price at least as of this recording. That starting price is $64.99 a month for the base plans. And something else these services have in common, price hikes, they have both raised prices multiple times over the years. YouTube TV's last price increase was in June 2020, while Hulu Live got more expensive in December 2020. And although the starting prices are the same, I give YouTube TV an advantage. And for reasons I'm going to explain throughout this video, I think you can get more for your money with YouTube TV, and you can avoid some potentially costly add-ons. No contract is required with either service. That is a plus. You can sign up one month and cancel the next if you don't like it. Plus, sign up offers for new members. I'm going to have more on those deals later on. Number two, channels and content. YouTube TV and Hulu Live both offer access to dozens of the most popular cable networks as well as access to local broadcast stations, but with Hulu Live, you get something else. And that's access to Hulu's on-demand streaming library with limited commercials. It is included at no additional charge when you sign up for Hulu Live. That way, you can stream The Handmaid's Tale and other Hulu originals. When it comes to the channel lineups, YouTube TV offers more channels than Hulu Live, but that gap is narrowing, and that is because Hulu Live just added Viacom CBS networks. I did a comparison by channel type to better explain, so let's dive in. From my zip code, both services offer local stations, so your ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. However, only YouTube TV carries PBS. Nationwide, YouTube TV is excellent for locals, and Hulu Live is very good. Let's move on to sports. You see the biggest difference is YouTube TV has some extra league networks, but here's something to keep in mind. Hulu Live has reached a deal to bring NFL Network and NFL Red Zone to its lineup by August 2021. No word on any pricing change yet. YouTube TV has those channels already with NFL Red Zone in its sports add-on. Moving on to news. Both services have the major cable news and business networks, plus some others too, I don't see any deal breakers here. And here is a look at entertainment channels in the base plans. As I mentioned, Hulu Live just added Viacom CBS networks like Comedy Central, MTV, and VH1. And for some people, Hulu Live may actually have an advantage in this entertainment and lifestyle category. That is because Hulu Live carries A&E networks, including A&E, History, and Lifetime. YouTube TV doesn't have those as of this recording. Now a warning, these channel lineups do change, but I did my best to summarize for you. You can go directly to YouTube TV and Hulu Live's websites, enter your zip code, and see your local channels, plus if there have been any changes to the major cable networks since this recording. Moving on to number three, Cloud DVR. I have referred to YouTube TV's DVR as its secret sauce, and that is because a lot of subscribers tell me that is what keeps them with YouTube TV month after month. With YouTube TV, you get unlimited cloud DVR storage, and your recordings are kept for up to nine months. But if you don't use DVR all that much, Hulu Live may work. With the base plan, you get 50 hours of cloud DVR storage, but here is the catch. You must upgrade to fast forward through ad breaks. You get that ability with the enhanced cloud DVR add-on, as well as 200 hours of storage space. The price of Hulu Live's Cloud DVR add-on is $10 a month, so your $65 a month base plan becomes $75 a month just like that. And some Hulu Live subscribers may need yet another add-on. I'm going to talk about that next. Number four, multiple streams. With a YouTube TV base subscription, you get three simultaneous streams. That comes in handy if multiple people in your household 
want to stream at the same time. But with Hulu Live, the base plan includes two streams, not good for larger households. That is where the other add-on comes in, unlimited streams. It is also $10 a month, or you can get the DVR and streams add-ons together for 15 bucks a month. And with unlimited streams, you can also stream on three separate mobile devices on the go. And next to number five, supported devices. At the time of this recording, YouTube TV and Roku are at war and new subscribers cannot use a Roku device to stream YouTube TV. Before the YouTube TV and Roku dispute, I would say that it was a draw between YouTube TV and Hulu Live as far as supported devices, because as you can see, they include smart TVs, streaming media players, and gaming consoles. Personally, I like to use Chromecast with Google TV as well as a Roku Premiere. They are both hooked up to the back of my TV set. Down below, I will link to the list of supported devices for both YouTube TV and Hulu Live. Number six, user experience. Now for me, the monthly price and the channel lineups are the two most important deciding factors, but the difference between the user experience with YouTube TV and Hulu Live, it is noticeable. To sum it up, YouTube TV is just so much more simple to use. There are just three main tabs with YouTube TV, and when you open the app, you will start on the home screen. That is the one in the center. You can move to the left for your library or DVR, and navigate all the way to the right to access a very cable-like live guide. Now, Hulu Live also has a home screen, a DVR, and a live guide, but getting around tends to take an extra click, or maybe two. But every service has a learning curve. You can use the free trial periods to pick a favorite. And speaking of free trials, that is number seven. If you followed my channel, you have heard me talk about how free trials tend to be disappearing. But so far, that is not the case with YouTube TV and Hulu Live. While a free trial for Hulu's on-demand service may be 30 days, you typically only get seven days to try out Hulu Live. And seven days is the standard free trial for YouTube TV as well. However, over the past year or so, YouTube TV has been a lot more aggressive, and I've seen two-week free trials and even a three-week free trial one time. And now for some final thoughts. YouTube TV and Hulu Live are both premium live TV streaming services. They are cheaper than cable, but not like they used to be. After Hulu Live's December 2020 price hike, I shared a wish list for the service and one of those wishes came true. It added Viacom CBS Networks and did not hike the price again. But the other two wishes were a third simultaneous stream and an improved cloud DVR, also without raising the price. Now, if those two things happened, it would truly be a toss up between YouTube TV and Hulu Live. But for now, I think YouTube TV is the better value for most household with some exceptions. Take a look. Hulu Live may be best if it has all of your must-have channels, you like Hulu's on-demand service already, and you can avoid the add-ons. Also, I think it could be the better pick for large households who find the unlimited screens add-on worth it. If you are trying to decide between YouTube TV and Hulu Live, scroll down to the comments because I've got a feeling that regular viewers of this channel are going to have more for you to consider there and check out my other videos on cutting the cord while you're here. I hope to see you back here soon. Take care.